Garrett Blevins here with uh, week seven, day two of this cycle. Uh, this was high bar squats and uh, the first day of the Predator cycle, uh, second runaround. Um, average intensity was uh, high 70s for high bar squats and uh, in the 60s for uh, the bench work I did today. A lot of volume on this day and uh, was feeling pretty good. Um, depth was all right on these high bar squats and really I felt pretty strong. This was after the uh, 705 uh, for a three deadlift day um, and I was surprised at how good I felt. My uh, lower back was a little taxed but it really wasn't all that bad and I was pretty happy with that. Um, last uh, PR I had with high bar was 460. At least that's what I think. I'm not a hundred percent that I uh, ended up actually writing down uh, the last time I did a set of five. But in any case, uh, 470 for five or 475 for five went really well. I did think my depth was a little high on this. Uh, it's still difficult for me to do high bar uh, with excellent depth uh, that's convincingly deep with flat shoes and so I didn't have my Olympic shoes today I hadn't actually decided exactly what assistance work I was going to do before the bench pressing um, but really felt good this day uh, really fast my body weight is getting closer to being a weight class that I'm going to compete at which is uh, 231 and so I was 232 this day after the, uh, the workout I did feel my depth was better uh, with this this is 500 even uh, for a set of five, which was a 40-pound PR. Um, I'm sure that's just because I haven't done uh, just kind of ramp up sets of five with high bar. Um, but still, it was a really good day, and I was uh, pretty happy with how everything felt and moved, um, and could definitely tell that I had lost some weight this day. I wasn't surprised when I went to the scale afterwards. Uh, bench press also moved very fast. Uh, this was warm-ups. Uh, that is normal speed. It looks faster than really I've ever moved before, and the bar was jumping out of my hand at the top. It was really uh, some good uh, bench pressing. This is one of those days where I think that uh, I could have maybe even gone for another max. I know I was coming off of a max attempt uh, last week, but I really felt primed for some uh, strong pressing. The main work that I did was 435 uh, for five sets of three and tried really to take all of my reps on this day very seriously. Recently saw a video of Dan Green and just watching his warm-ups on deadlifts, I mean, he treats 275 uh, seriously, even though it's a really light weight for him. And so I tried to move everything as explosively as I could this day, and I really think it paid off. Um, was able to do, I think, 16 with this wide grip on uh, 315. I don't know if that's a PR or not. I didn't feel like going back through since it was such a high rep. I think I may have done more at least one other time, but... Um, was pretty torched after that, and then going into uh, close grip uh, was pretty difficult. Finished out with uh, three sets of four. Um, throughout this day, I took my wrist wraps off and then would put them back on. I certainly found that I was quite a bit stronger with wrist wraps. Um, I was more stable. But I think it's good to train without it every once in a while, just to make sure that you're, uh, you're still building your actual wrist strength so that you're not losing that. But... Good, uh, good bench day uh, coming off of my max last week and good high bar squats, so I'm excited to see what happens from here. Hope wherever you're at, you're doing well. Blessings.